All right, so this is what we start with. We got uh, maple, walnut, and I try and pick maple that's got a real nice figure. It's hard to see on this side, but you can see it on the bottom. Uh, but premium curly maple, good hard piece of walnut. And what we end up with when I put this on the machine, this is the uh, new upgraded stock for the pistol kit. You can see it's inlet for the lock, barrel, the tang, side plate is inlet, and we've got the thimbles, trigger, trigger plate, and trigger guard, all inlet. So we'll need to clean up and widen some of the cutouts, but basically everything's pretty much done for you. Even the uh, tenon for the barrel is inlet for you. So the barrels I've got are rice pistols. These are 10 inch long, swamped in 50 or 54, already cut for the front and rear uh, sights and cut for the tenon. So, and a breech plug, of course, is fitted. So it's ready to go. You just might need to trim down the tang a little bit, bend it to the shape of the stock. Very easy to do. Then we got the silo lock already assembled. These come from Jim Chambers. Real good sparkers. And the hardware is cast brass. We got the trigger guard, just an American style. Very nice. Side plate. And includes Ted Cash thimbles in 3-8 size. We've got ramrod already cut down for the tip that fits on it. And you will need to do some tapering of this. And that needs to be done after the gun's assembled uh, so that you can fit it to the wood. It also comes with, of course, the trigger trigger plate. We got the tang, two bolt screws. We got a rear sight, front sight, touch hole liner, screw in case you want to put one here in the back of the uh, trigger guard grip, the tenon, and a piece of wire for hinging the trigger and putting the thimbles and the uh, tenon. So everything is included in the kit, except time, of course, and that's up to you. Now, let me show you something here. Get this all out the way. This is, this is what you can come up with. This is one I made from one of the kits, built this last week. We can see the barrels in. I've also uh, given it a light bluing. I left the lock polished, did a little engraving on it. Trigger guards in. Did some engraving on that as well. And I did some aging on it too, just to make it look kind of nice. The thimble also. Did a little engraving, aging. Ramrod, I put three grooves in the end like I do on a lot of my guns just to make it easy to grab and pull out. Sights are in. There's the side plate. And I did not do any carving on this one uh, just to show you that it looks real nice just like it is. There's no nose cap supplied with it. It would take a 13 16 nose cap if you want to put one on but uh, I like most of my pistols without one. So I leave that option up to you. So, very nice grip, fits your hand nicely. So anyways, and this pistol I put up on the website and it got sold in three days. So, the only chance you got now to get one like this quickly is to make it yourself.